So I made this announcement on Twitter and Facebook, so I figured I'd make it on YouTube as well. Oh my god, yesterday I got a personal message from George Takei. Ah! On Twitter. Um, I tweeted something like, George Takei is awesome. He just pops up in the news every once in a while being awesome. Because um, he he's, his most recent tweet had been, he was making a comment about how teachers in some certain state weren't allowed to use the word gay anymore, and he was like, well, now they can just use the word, I lend them my name, they can say, that's Takei. And I, I just, you think about all the hilarious things George Takei has done recently, it just kind of makes you laugh every time. It, he's just so cool, you know, so I like tweeted, oh, he's so cool, and then he sent me a personal message, and he was like, oh, thanks for your tweet. And then he ended with, um, oh my, <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. So yeah, my life is sort of sort of complete. Just sort of, you know, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> a bunch of the kids are doing laps around the school for their club activities. And um, when they get to this point, I guess they shed their layers because it gets warm. And um, <laughs> these are their jackets, of course. And I think it would be both hilarious and, of course, terrible to just, like, steal all of them. <laughs> of course I won't, but... It would be hilarious. Um, I'm looking at my list of stuff that I have, stories, and I'm not that excited to tell them. They're kind of boring today, I'm sorry. Um, so, for the seventh grade, I had two seventh grade classes today, and um, we were teaching the sounds letters make. So, you know, you have the letter B, but it doesn't make the sound B, it makes the sound B. So, the way I teach it is that I kind of act like the alphabet is a zoo, and you know, the animal is B, and what sound does it make? B. Kind of like, you know, a frog. Not that frogs are in zoos, but you know, like a frog. It's called a frog, but it doesn't say frog. It says ribbit ribbit. So, that's how I teach the alphabet. I don't know, maybe that's a weird way of teaching it, but that's how I do it. So, um, we were doing that, and so the teacher would say the letter, and then I would say that the, le the letter the sound makes. We skipped all the vowels, because all the vowels have like 12 different ways of pronouncing them. And, um, <laughs> then we got to Q, and he was like, Q, the English teacher, Q, and I was like, Oh, what sound does Q make? Like, I couldn't think of it, because Q pretty much always comes Q-U, so it's pretty much always qu like, qu but, like, I, I didn't really, it was really difficult, I was like, what sound does Q make? Eventually it was just k, k, like K and C, which I don't know if that's right, I mean, I guess it is right, qu like, when you get Q in the middle of a word, when it's not followed by U, I guess it does just make a K sound. It's weird to, like, teach this when you know it, but, you know, you know it so well that you don't really know it. <laughs> it's kind of confusing. And then I came into the same problem with X. When he said X, I was like... I didn't really know how to pronounce it X, I was kind of confused. And you know, some of them really surprised me, like when I when I would say them, and then I'm like, oh, didn't even think of that. Like H is like, huh. like that's the sound H makes. It just goes, huh. doesn't make an actual sound. I, I was literally doing it on the spot. Like when he would say the letter, I'd be like, huh. <laughs> and I have to make it up. So it it was just it was kind of weird. To, I know I'm, I must sound like a dumbass because of this story, but. Like, it was really weird. <laughs> and then, um, on another lesson that I had no excuse for failing at was we were introducing directions to the ninth graders. You know, like, ah, the first corner, take a left. We all know I have no sense of direction, so I literally kept saying the wrong thing. Because I had to look at a picture and I had to give them directions, like, oh, to get to the post office, turn right. I mean, <laughs> turn left. <laughs> felt like such an idiot. Uh, but back to the letters thing. We did um, a, a letters game. 
where I would say the name of a letter, they'd have to hit the letter, Karuta. And um, in the classes, almost every group that had one of my students in it won the game for their group. Uh, I mean, it's not like I taught those sixth graders the alphabet because I wasn't there for that part of the year, it was the previous teacher, but still, I'm going to take credit for it anyway. <laughs> and actually, one kid, the kid who always says, I'm die, instead of, I'm fine, thank you, and you, um, he was losing in his group, which makes no sense because he's one of the smartest kids, or at least he's one of the best at English, inexplicably, like really oddly, really good at English. Um, and he was losing in his group, and I was like, you're losing? That's unacceptable. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry, Mei Sensei. And um, I could see he was like trying really hard after that. Because he just wasn't trying, so I was like, how dare you? So try harder. Yay! Again, higher expectations for students I taught. It's just going to happen. Um, bah, bah, bah. I also am starting to notice more and more younger siblings of the older students, you know, ninth graders who have graduated, or not eighth, the current ninth graders, and um, eighth graders. I'm like, oh, you're a younger sibling of this person, oh! And I'm trying really hard not to um, put certain expectations or biases or assumptions about those kids based on who their older sibling is, because as someone who has an older sibling, I really hate it when people make an assumption about me based on my older sister. Whether it be good or bad, I, I don't like it. So um, I try not to do the same thing. Yay! Um, lunch, they were playing a language game. I don't really understand, like it was some game. I think it was like a kid would say a word and then the next kid would have to say a word that started with the syllable the first word it, where it ended with. Does that make sense? So like, I think we kind of have the same thing with English. Like if I say book, then that ends with a K, so the next person has to say a word that begins with K. Kite, that ends with an E, the next person has to say egg. I think they were doing it like that, except they do it with syllables, because that's how the Japanese language works. And I'm pretty sure they were playing that game in class during lunch. I don't know why. Just a bunch of the boys were, including Precious Baby Deer Face Kids, and he was like laughing and having a good time. So I didn't get to watch him be depressed while he eats. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, tomorrow is like a weird half day. Like, I, I don't know what's going on. We got the schedule, and I guess the kids are leaving by 1 o'clock or 1 15 or something really early. So, um, and then there's, they passed out some kind of schedule and meeting with everyone's names on it. And I was like, I don't get this. And no one explained anything to me. And I was like, whatever, I'll just go in blind tomorrow and have a good time trying to figure it out. Yay! <laughs> Story of my life. Um, so yeah, tomorrow, extra short Wednesday. Then the day after is elementary school. Woo! Then... No school. No school on Friday. Now I have to go food shopping again. I know I went food shopping this weekend, but um, I need to go again. Did I even take you this weekend? I don't think I even took you this weekend. Took you. <laughs> we went food shopping! No, no. Okay, whatever. Okay, so... In my videos, if you ever notice that I'm like staring at something kind of over and past the camera, it's uh, this thing, this thing right here, that's the thing that I brought the uh, poster back to Japan in, like this huge suspicious, suspicious package, and um, there's only a certain day it can go out in the trash, so it has to sit in my room until that happens. And I missed it the first time. I had to look it up and I was like, ah! And I think it's, it's only like once a month, I think. I don't really know, honestly. So it's just been sitting in my room. It's okay. That's it.